What is going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and welcome to another Ghost Dissected video. Today we look at the IED Lethal Equipment. This equipment has been the subject of much debate within the Call of Duty community since Ghost was released. Many see the equipment as overpowered due to its seemingly impossible to avoid explosion. The IED is similar to Claymores and C4s of past Call of Duty games. It works like a combination of the two because it is activated by proximity and detonates like a C4. Let's get into what exactly makes this one of the deadliest equipments in the game. The IED is a thrown equipment that sticks to any surface, floors, walls, and even ceilings. When an enemy gets close to the IED, the player will hear beeping that gets faster as you get closer to the explosion. An IED has an impressive kill range of 2.4 meters and will grant you a hit marker up to 6.5 meters. While this may not seem like a good range for killing enemies, it is certainly a great range for, for an explosive. You will have no difficulty killing an enemy that approaches an unexpected IED. The IED can be thrown about 12.7 meters, less than half the distance that a frag or semtex can be thrown. It is certainly not a great range to throw, but for an equipment that is as powerful as the IED, it does the trick just fine. There are, as usual, a few counters to any good equipment. Blast Shield is the main counter to the IED and any other explosive in Ghosts. Blast Shield is a two point perk that will lower explosive damage taken by 65%. This means that any soldier using Blast Shield will be killed at no farther than 0.84 meters. In other words, it is unlikely that a Blast Shield user will die when confronted with an IED unless the IED is right at the user's feet. Another counter to the IED is the Sit Rep perk. Sit Rep will allow soldiers to see enemy equipment across a map. With this perk equipped, soldiers will be able to avoid any IEDs or easily destroy them. With the Sarah perk enabled, most enemies will completely void any IEDs on the map. Luckily, most enemies do not utilize Sarah, so it is often not a concern when using the IED. Now onto my thoughts. Um, I know this was kind of a short episode, guys, but there's not that many stats for the IED. Um, it's kind of going a lot on personal preference and, uh, you know, what the counters are to it. Obviously, Blast Shield and Syrup are pretty good counters to it, but not a lot of people use either of the perks. I started using Blast Shield more, um, and I use Syrup a lot at the beginning of the game, so you'll see, like, newer players using it, because I think it's on a lot of the default classes. But, um, Blast Shield is one of those perks that you get really late, so not a lot of people, um, actually unlock it and know that you can unlock it through squad points. Um, so you're not really going to see either of the perks that often, so the, the counters aren't too uh, heavy. Unless you're playing something like Domination, then you're going to see Blast Shield a lot more because, uh, you know, people are looking for those those equipment that are on the uh, objectives and whatnot. But um, other than that, really the counters are kind of uh, negated, I guess, by the fact that not many people use them. And, and really the only way I can really describe this equipment is something that works amazingly against me, but I personally can't do that well with. Um, I never really... Um, you know, saw myself getting that many kills with it. I maybe got one kill a game with it, which is all right. But uh, for equipment that is, um, you know, as powerful as the ID is, I'd expect at least three or four, especially if I'm playing an objective game mode. Um, but I just couldn't seem to get more than maybe one or two at the maximum per game. And that was uh, if I was lucky. I actually got a lot of hit markers. I think a lot of people are getting used to, you know, how um, how the ID works. When they start hearing the beeping, they're going to back up instead of keep moving forward. Things like that. Um, and overall, I think the equipment is getting less powerful as the game moves on, even even without a patch, because enemies are learning, uh, you know, exactly how to confront an IED instead of just running headlong into them. But uh, that is just my personal own opinion. If you enjoyed this episode, like the video and check out the previous episode about the ammo crate killstreak. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.